in this place uh, six months in Israel. I don't have a visa. I don't have any anything. So I don't have a home. I don't have uh, money. I I sleep uh, on the way. Uh, bad life. About 90% of the refugees and asylum seekers in Israel are survivors of the wars in Southern Sudan, Darfur, and the tyrannical regime in Eritrea. After fleeing their home countries, these individuals risk their lives to seek refuge in Israel by making the very dangerous journey across the Sinai Desert to enter Israel from its southern border with Egypt. Many refugees are the victims of kidnapping and violence during this journey, and some suffer from gunshot wounds inflicted by Egyptian border guards. Upon arrival in Israel, the refugees and asylum seekers are met by Israeli soldiers who bring them to temporary detention camps, where they are held for an undefined amount of time. Upon release, they are given a bus ticket to Tel Aviv, leaving the detention center with only their possessions, the clothing on their backs. Once they arrive in Tel Aviv, most refugees' first stop is Levinsky Park, located across from the central bus station, where many spend their first few nights or even weeks sleeping outside. From this point on, without official status in Israel, these individuals must fend for themselves, receiving help only from fellow members of their community and aid organizations, such as ASAF. Three times a week, ASAF is open for reception hours where asylum seekers come to receive support, ask questions, and seek solution for problems they face at work or in their personal life. The needs of each refugee and asylum seeker differ. Therefore, ASAF places emphasis on providing varied levels of support. Day-to-day -day life in Israel for asylum seekers is a constant struggle. Without recognition by the government, these individuals don't have access to social and health services. But let's say 22. Yeah, uh, they put it a little bit up, it was 21.7 and now it's 22. This is the minimum. This is minimum. They are not allowed to give you less than this. The Advocacy and Support Center services include providing general information, advice for newcomers, referrals to partner organizations, orientation tours, group lectures, and personal conversations. The more complex cases are referred to a SAF's psychosocial team, who provides professional counseling services. A SAF's goal is to empower refugees and asylum seekers to gain the knowledge required to be self-reliant. Like this slash or yeah. not? Yeah. The refugee population is diverse and includes strong and resilient people who, despite all of the hardships, have managed to survive, alongside vulnerable fellow refugees who suffer from mental and physical health issues. In addition to the day-to-day -day challenges of living in a new country without social and economic rights, many asylum seekers in Israel are still dealing with their traumatic past. Wow. That's why I'm telling you. <laughs> wow, and they're not paying. So. They're not paying, no work. Wow. Due to the lack of basic human rights, even the most insignificant vulnerability, physical or emotional, can pose a great challenge. No place for washing, just to birth and... With a holistic approach, ASAF's psychosocial support ranges from counseling for personal and emotional issues to solving concrete problems. In the most extreme cases, the assistance may even include financial help. ASAF's aim is to help women, men and minors build resilience, coping skills and their ability to improve their lives. The Family and Individual Support Program is also under the auspice of ASAF's psychosocial department. Together with a team of volunteers, 
Asaf works intensively with families and individuals who are in need of one-on-one -on -one attention. Volunteers visit their assigned families once a week and forge close relationships with them, providing support and help to navigate life in Israel. The most vital role that the volunteers fill is that of a friend. When one lives in a foreign or hostile environment, having a local friend makes all the difference in the world. In the South Psychosocial Services, we quite often find ourselves dealing and trying to support the most heartbreaking cases and difficult cases. But on the other hand, we have the privilege of getting to know people on a personal level and really being there for them. And, and also often seeing them succeed and seeing them overcome those difficulties. Israel is a country on the truth. It means it's a democracy. It's a country, but it's a country. It's a country, 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 أكل ما يأكله ما ما يشربه بعد شوية يقوم بعد ما اليوم كله يقوم شغال بعد شوية يقوم يحرب منه يفوت ليش؟ لمبكشين مكلات بالبيتين بارتس كتوب. The unclear policy of the Israeli government leaves refugees and asylum seekers without a recognized legal status and limits their access to social and economic rights. Despite very limited resources, currently NGOs, including ASAF, are fulfilling the government's obligation to provide legal and social services to the refugee and asylum seeker population. Most asylum seekers are granted a temporary visa, which must be renewed every three months at the Interior Ministry. Renewing the visa is a tedious process which includes waiting in long lines, sometimes for an entire day. This visa only provides protection from deportation but does not allow the security to plan one's future. This uncertainty leads to frustration and a total loss of hope. While this visa is not a work permit according to Ministry of Interior regulations, it allows asylum seekers to work. This creates much confusion among both refugees and employers and often leads to violation of their workers' rights. Staff works with both refugees and employers. Employers are provided with information about the legal aspects of employing refugees, including their obligations to their employees. Refugees are provided with job search assistance and information regarding work safety and their rights. Many refugees who cannot find full-time work wait on the side of the road to be picked up by an unknown employer for daily work called Chikchak. With these jobs, refugees are vulnerable to abuse, to not being paid, and to suffering injuries. Asylum seekers work extremely long hours for very little pay. Because of their desperation for work, some even work in exchange for a meal. Asaf's work in the fields of advocacy, PR, and media is fundamentally important and complements the humanitarian aid services Asaf provides. Advocacy work includes promoting refugees and asylum seekers' rights, lobbying local and national authorities, and initiating collaborative alliances with other organizations. So for, for this article, what we like to say in Asaf Asaf's media work includes connections with many forms of press, such as newspaper journalists, television reporters, radio announcers, and social media activities. They didn't come here to improve their level of life. They came to save their life, and they are just asking for a shelter, for a safe place. Those people, they want go back to their homeland. They don't want to stay here forever. And we have the moral uh, duty to help uh, those people because as a Jewish people we know exactly what is to be a refugee and what is to suffer from war. 
In addition, Asaf has a team of volunteers who provide lectures to diverse groups of Israelis, including soldiers and students. <laughs> The aim of this publicity work is to improve Israeli public opinion of refugees and by extension improve the daily lives of asylum seekers. Asaf is also active in community outreach. The organization offers support for activities initiated by members of the refugee communities. For example, Asaf helped with organizing the South Sudanese Independence Day celebration. And until I won't release it, okay? Moreover, Asaf's computer classes and translation course are a way to encourage self empowerment and independence among refugees and asylum seekers. This is okay, this is the beginning. Now change the size like First, in telephone, what is the basic thing that is different between interpreting over the phone and interpreting one on one when you're on the room? Can you think of it? Sometimes it's interpreting, sometimes it's more counseling, sometimes it's more advocating, right? There are different jobs that the interpreter might find himself do, more or less. And I get this course almost one month. So I'm happy with the course because I didn't get before. But now I see in Asaf they give us courses. I hope also it's continue. <laughs> Asaf's Youth Club is open three evenings a week. In this safe and caring environment, youth enjoy enrichment, social activities, and hot meals. For every child, having someone to talk to and confide in is a basic and essential need. For refugee children, friendship and support become a lifeline to normalcy. The youth in the club come from diverse backgrounds. Some have been placed in boarding schools, others in shelters, and others live with their families. Regardless of their home situation, the youth face many challenges growing up in a country where they're a rejected minority. One, two, two three, four, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Asaf relies exclusively on donations and does not receive any financial support from the Israeli government. Asaf's partnerships include UNHCR, War Child Holland, the American Embassy, other foundations and private donors. In the harsh reality of asylum seekers in Israel, the current donations are not enough to cover the costs of all the help that is needed.